So Android 15 based custom rooms first look is here the things which you will get by default in this one and the features which you will get in Android 15 based custom rooms from now on. This is the first update. This is the first Android 15 based custom room which I've installed it on my device. My device is Mi 11X and uh, I'm using Statix OS. While making this video, it's not released yet, but don't worry, it will be released for public very, very soon. Based on Android 15, of course, and the features, the major changes which you will find after installing Android 15 based custom room on your device. We will talk about all of those things in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. In case you don't know, Android 15 based beta updates, developer beta and public beta previews, I've already covered all of them. So in case you want to know more about the Android 15 features, you can check all my previous video based on Android 15. First, first noticeable change in Android 15 is the predictive back animation. I know it's available in few of the custom rooms by default, like something OS, but this is a feature from Android 15. So from now on, on every custom room, even including lineage OS, you will get predictive back animation by default. Second one is the keyboard vibration option. This is also present with the Android 14's QPR update, which you are using right now with Android 14 based custom rooms. But initially it was available with Android 15. So it is part of Android 15 too. It's available here. So yes, it's available in the vibration haptics option. Another thing which you will find is because this is the part of Android 15, whenever you change screen timeout, whenever you decrease the timeout, then it's completely okay. But whenever you, whenever you increase the screen timeout, then you have to verify that it's you. You have to put your lock screen, pin, password, etc. This is quite strange, but it's available with Android 15. I know that I've shared with or with you already with my beta updates video. And this also applies to whenever you connect your device through USB debugging, whenever you change the modes from file transfer to no data transfer to whatever you do, you have to put your fingerprint, pin, password of lock screen again and again. That's quite strange, but it's there. Even in the display options, you will find new thing named as color contrast, not actually a new thing, but basically the menu is now redesigned and also it's a thing which is present with Android 15's developer beta updates. Then it, then we were in the public beta stage, even in the stable stage, this option is present in the display settings and also available in the wallpapers and styles section. Because we are talking about wallpapers and styles, let me show you, we have some UI changes here in case you don't know that. Whenever you try to pick any wallpaper, the preview UI is now changed. So for example, let me try to use this wallpaper. I just love this wallpaper in my device. So as you can see, this is the new preview UI and previous Android 14 based custom rooms, which might you might are using right now. You can see the difference there. This is Android 15, what I'm using right now in this video. So as you can see, preview UI is now changed and you can adjust the wallpaper according to your own preference, which looks good. And I guess this is one of my my favorite features in Android 15, this wallpapers, wallpaper and styles preview UI. As you can see, you can choose if you want to choose the wallpaper for lock screen, home screen or both. You have the option available for you. This is a new UI available with this wallpapers and style preview UI. It's not a major thing. It's available there. You already know that Android 15 is not bringing you any major UI revamp, but with Android 15 custom rooms, you might get something really interesting. And I'll talk about that later on for sure we also have this private space and that's probably actually the best feature of android 15 for sure private space is now officially available as you can see hide or lock private apps in a separate space i know it's not a big deal it's not a unique thing but because we are talking about stock android here if you're a pixel device user you already know that this is one of the must have features and it's finally present here with android 15. if you're a pixel device user looking forward to android 15 stable update that's coming very soon you will get this private space option for sure and if you're a custom rom user with android 15 private space will be available for you too it's little bit dif little bit different from app cloner which is already available in, in many any custom rooms by default it's a bit difficult it's a bit different from there but yes i personally love this thing because that's one of the great things you can use a separate environment for your other accounts for your professional account or some other things whatever you want to do you can hide the apps you can lock the apps you can do a lot more things as you can see whenever you try to access the private space you have to put your other password if you have used a separate option for that you have the option to customize many things in this case 
If you click on settings, you will find that you have the option to choose a lock private space automatically. We have three options available. You can choose any one of them. And it also brings you the option to hide the private space. By default, it's not hidden. So whenever you open app door at the bottom, you will get the private space option. But if you click this option, which if you enable the hide private space, whenever I lock this thing, it's not present. It's not present anymore in the app drawer section. To find it, I have to search named as private space in the app drawer. Then I will be able to use this thing and put my lock screen or private space password to access all the things stored here. That's just my personally favorite, one of the best features ever in Android 15. And it's available with this custom room. It's available, it will be available might be in every custom room, even including Lineage OS. Not so sure because Lineage OS with Android 14, they were not giving you those new clocks. So it would be quite exciting to see Lineage OS Android 15 based, which is coming soon too. Volume panel is also here. This is completely redesigned. And to be honest, the UI is kind of okay, but the animations are just so smooth. Whenever you change, as you can see, the animations are looking a bit different, bit interesting one. The UI uh, could be subjective. Some of you might love this thing, this full screen UI. Some of you might not. It's subjective for sure. Let me know in the comment box, how do you like this kind of volume panel? And by the way, in case you don't know, you can get this volume panel with any Android, any other version with the help of an app. I guess that name is Precise Volume. You can get that for sure. Other than else, these were some noticeable changes which you have here. But we have this because we am talk we are talking about statics OS in this custom in this video. This is statics OS which is close to stock. So that's completely okay. So we might not get any customization here. And in case you don't know, almost every custom room is now focusing on Android 15. So Android 14 based custom rooms are already done. And I guess we might not get new updates for most of the custom rooms based on Android 14. We might get, we might not. But Android 15 is the main and major focus for most of the custom rooms right now. The source code is already released and we might get quite stable updates upcoming next month for sure so that's quite exciting if you're also excited for the android 15 based custom room make sure to subscribe this channel and also make sure to like this video because if you like this video then we might love this thing for sure and i'll be great i will be grateful to you to like this video other than else we have similar kind of things available you know that sim similar kind of things which you get in android 15 same kind of options and yes in case you don't know this pixel launcher also has this app list option i missed it but it's here you can choose this thing there are some minor tweaks here and there and as more as i will use android 15 i'll let you know more features which are also be part of the android 15. so yes these were the things i just wanted to let you know if you like this video don't forget to drop a like then i will see you in the next one until then take care